We are now going to demonstrate testing for elbow flexion. The normal range of motion is 150 degrees. For range of motion testing, the client will be sitting with shoulder and elbow in anatomical position with the humerus stabilized. The axis of the goniometer will be placed on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. The stationary arm will be placed parallel to the long axis of the humerus, pointing toward the tip of the acromion process. The movable arm will be placed parallel to the long axis of the radius, pointing to the styloid process of the radius. The client will then flex the elbow. You're at 145. The muscle being tested is the biceps brachii. For manual muscle testing, the gravity eliminated position is sitting with shoulder abducted to 90, arms supported on a powder board or supported by the therapist, elbow extended, forearm in mid position. The humerus should be stabilized. For manual muscle testing against gravity, the client will be supine with shoulder and elbow in anatomical position, forearm supinated. Stabilization by the therapist is given to the humerus. The client will then flex the elbow against gravity. Then, resistance by the therapist is given proximal to the wrist on the anterior aspect of the forearm. The client will then flex the elbow against resistance. We are now going to demonstrate testing for elbow extension. The normal range of motion is zero degrees. For range of motion testing, the client will be supine with shoulder and elbow in anatomical position, a towel or pad under the distal humerus and the humerus stabilized. The axis of the goniometer will be placed over the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. The stationary arm will be placed parallel to the long axis of the humerus pointing toward the tip of the acromion process. The movable arm will be placed parallel to the long axis of the radius, pointing toward the styloid process. The client will then extend their elbow. Zero. The muscle being tested is the triceps. For manual muscle testing against gravity, the client will be supine, shoulder internally rotated and flexed to 90, elbow flexed, forearm supinated. Stabilization by the therapist is given to the humerus. The client will then extend their elbow against gravity. Then, resistance by the therapist is given proximal to the wrist on the posterior aspect of the forearm. The client will then extend the elbow against resistance. The gravity eliminated position for this motion is sitting with shoulder abducted to 90. Sit up, please. Arms supported on powder board or supported by the therapist. And the elbow flexed. We are now going to demonstrate testing for supination. The normal range of motion is 80 degrees. For range of motion testing, the client will be sitting with arm at side, elbow flexed to 90, forearm in mid position, with pencil held tightly in hand, wrist in neutral, humerus stabilized. The axis of the goniometer will be placed over the head of the third metacarpal. The stationary arm will be placed perpendicular to the floor. The movable arm will be placed parallel to the pencil. The client will then supinate. Go ahead. He is at 90. The muscles being tested are the supinator and the biceps brachii. For manual muscle testing against gravity, the client will be sitting, arm at side, elbow flexed to 90, forearm pronated. 
Stabilization by the therapist is given to the humerus. The client will then supinate. Then resistance by the therapist is given on the posterior surface of the distal radius with counter pressure on the anterior aspect of the ulna. The client will then supinate against resistance. The gravity eliminated position for this motion is supine with arm at side, elbow flexed to 90, forearm pronated, humerus stabilized. The client will then supinate the forearm. We are now going to demonstrate testing for pronation. The normal range of motion is 90 degrees. For range of motion testing, the client will be sitting, arm at side, elbow flexed to 90, forearm in mid position, pencil held tightly in hand, wrist in neutral position. The axis of the goniometer will be placed over the head of the third metacarpal. The stationary arm will be placed perpendicular to the floor. The movable arm will be placed parallel to the pencil. The client will then pronate. And he's at 90 degrees. The muscles being tested are the pronator teres and the pronator quadratus. For manual muscle testing against gravity, the client will be sitting, arm at side, elbow flexed to 90, forearm supinated. The client will then pronate against gravity. Then resistance by the therapist is given on the anterior surface of the distal radius with counter pressure on the posterior aspect of the ulna. The client will then pronate against resistance. The gravity eliminated position for this motion is supine with arm at side, elbow flexed to 90, forearm supinated. The client will then pronate the forearm. We are now going to demonstrate testing for wrist flexion. The normal range of motion is 80 degrees. For range of motion testing, the client will be sitting with the elbow flexed at 90 degrees, forearm pronated and resting on the table with the wrist and hand hanging off the edge of the table. The axis of the goniometer will be placed on the ulnar styloid process. The stationary arm will be placed parallel to the ulna and the movable arm will be placed parallel to the axis of the fifth metacarpal. The client will then flex the wrist as much as possible. Eighty-eight. The muscles being tested are the flexor carpi radialis and the flexor carpi ulnaris. For manual muscle testing against gravity, the client will be sitting with the elbow flexed at 90 degrees, forearm supinated and resting on the table with the wrist and hand hanging off the edge of the table. Stabilization by the therapist is given just proximal to the wrist. The client will then flex their wrist against gravity. Then resistance by the therapist is given on the palm of the hand. The client will then flex against resistance. The gravity eliminated position for this motion is sitting with a forearm in mid position with the wrist and hand supported by the table. The client then moves through range of motion. We are now going to demonstrate testing for wrist extension. The normal range of motion is 70 degrees. For range of motion testing, the client will be sitting with the elbow flexed at 90 degrees, forearm pronated and resting on the table with the wrist and hand hanging off the edge of the table. 
The axis of the goniometer will be placed on the ulnar styloid process. The stationary arm will be placed parallel to the ulna. And the movable arm will be placed parallel to the axis of the fifth metacarpal. The client will then extend the wrist as much as possible. Sixty-eight. The muscles being tested are the extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, and the extensor carpi ulnaris. For manual muscle testing against gravity, the client will be sitting with the elbow flexed at 90 degrees, the forearm pronated and resting on the table with the wrist and hand hanging off the edge of the table. Stabilization by the therapist is given just proximal to the wrist. The client will then extend their wrist against gravity. Then, resistance by the therapist is given over the dorsal aspect of the hand over the metacarpals. The client will then extend against resistance. The gravity eliminated position for this motion is sitting with the forearm in mid position with the wrist and hand supported by the table. The client then moves through range of motion. We are now going to demonstrate testing for radial deviation. The normal range of motion is 20 degrees. For range of motion testing, the client will be sitting with the forearm rested on the table in pronation. The axis of the goniometer will be placed on the posterior aspect of the wrist joint over the capitate bone. The stationary arm will be placed along the midline of the forearm. The movable arm will be placed parallel to the longitudinal axis of the shaft of the third metacarpal. The client will then radially deviate the wrist. She's at about 25 degrees. There's no manual muscle testing for radial deviation. However, the muscles involved in the movement are the extensor carpi radialis longus, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, and the flexor carpi radialis. We are now going to demonstrate testing for ulnar deviation. The normal range of motion is 30 degrees. For the range of motion testing, the client will be sitting with the forearm rested on the table in pronation and the wrist in neutral. The axis of the goniometer will be placed on the posterior aspect of the wrist joint over the capitate bone. The stationary arm will be placed along the midline of the forearm. The movable arm will be placed parallel to the longitudinal axis of the shaft of the third metacarpal. The client will then ulnarly deviate the wrist. Thirty-five degrees. There is no manual muscle testing for ulnar deviation. However, the muscles involved in the movement are the flexor carpi ulnaris and the extensor carpi ulnaris.